Hey guys, it's Chris. From labyrinths from mythology that might be real to those inscribed on ancient stones from our ancestors, here are nine mysterious labyrinths found around the world. Number nine, the Maze of the Minotaur. In terms of legends about labyrinths, perhaps the most famous is that of the legend of the Minotaur from Greek mythology. In the story, the infamous Minotaur, who's half bull and half man, was hungry for human flesh. Born out of punishment to the king of Crete, Minos, he ordered the architect Daedalus to construct a maze to contain the beast, a labyrinth so complex that he wouldn't be able to get out. And Daedalus was able to do the task, and the Minotaur remained in the maze and was fed young men and women from Athens who were sacrificed as tribute, until he was finally killed by Theseus. But that's a story for another day. However, despite the story stating that the maze was something above ground in some versions, so the king and others could watch the Minotaur wander around hopelessly, the real labyrinth was believed to have been an underground ancient quarry cave located near the town of Gortine in the southern part of Crete which actually does exist. Not unlike a real labyrinth, this underground cave is massive, three kilometers in length, and full of corridors and rooms that don't seem to lead anywhere, just like the legendary maze itself. However, it should be noted that not everyone agrees that this is the legendary labyrinth. There are other candidates for where the inspiration of this story may have come from. Number 8. Neolithic Labyrinths Dating all the way back to our ancient myths and legends, the construction of labyrinths have been a part of human history since long before history was recorded, which is proven in bulk in the Russian White Sea, where there are islands that contain dozens if not hundreds of labyrinths from the Neolithic era of human history. In the place known as Bolshoi Zayatsky Island, you can find 14 different labyrinths within a 0.2 square mile area, and all of them are formed via rocks that are aligned in a way to make them look like serpents, one of which is even 82 feet in diameter. As to the purpose of these labyrinths, there is some debate. Some believe that since they're on one particular side of the island, that maybe the labyrinths acted as a sort of fish trap. Others, though, state that they likely would have been designed to follow the roots of the moon and the sun, making them more like calendars than anything else. Just as interesting, both sides of the island have rock formations, but only the west side has labyrinths, while the other side doesn't. Number 7. Casa Grande Within Arizona is a place known as the Casa Grande Ruins, which was discovered in 1694 by Padre Kino. He was on a journey to find the legend of the Great House, and it seemed like he did indeed find it. He detailed it as a four-story building, as large as a castle. But while the ruins were fascinating in every way, it was what was on one of the northern walls of the place that got the attention of many. On the north wall was a labyrinth that was etched into it. What's more, this labyrinth was very complex in design, and it turns out that it matched a labyrinth that was etched into Crete coins from 2,000 years previous. So how did this labyrinth get drawn onto this wall in such a similar fashion? Many have speculated on this, including saying that it was just accidentally replicated, but many don't agree with that. If for no other reason, then the odds of a near-perfect replica being done on accident are kinda nearly impossible. The other suggestion was that pre-Columbian people made the labyrinth drawing, and thus opens up new possibilities for who was in the place now known as Arizona during the time period of the Casa Grande. And now for number 6, but first, have you subscribed to World List yet? If you haven't, be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos like these. Number 6. Indian and Greek Labyrinth Connections At times, there have been discoveries of labyrinths that connect two cultures in unexpected ways, such as in August 2015, when an Indian labyrinth from 2000 BC was said to have a similar pattern to a labyrinth found on a clay tablet from Greece via 1200 BC. To be clear, the Indian one was a real labyrinth found in Gedimadu, and the square Indian labyrinth measured 17 meters by 17 meters. There are small differences between these two labyrinths, but the style and structure of them are almost exactly the same, despite them being created 800 years apart from each other, or so we're led to believe at least. The Greek tablet containing the labyrinth image was from Pylos, and it's believed to be the oldest picture of a seven-circuit labyrinth that was put into clay. As for the labyrinth in India, that is the second biggest one ever found at this time. 
further adding to the mystery of how these two images can be connected. Could someone have seen the one from India and then gone and perfectly replicated in Greece? We don't know for sure, but I guess that's part of the fun of a mystery, right? Number 5. The Labyrinth Puzzle in Denmark it may surprise you to learn that there are many labyrinths still being discovered in the world today, and oftentimes when they're found, they have archaeologists asking more questions than finding answers, such as one Neolithic labyrinth that was found in Denmark in 2017. More specifically though, they found palisades, which were the thing that enclosed the labyrinths in Denmark. Found within Stevens, the maze and its enclosing hold an area of about 200,000 square feet, making it incredibly large, and causing a lot of confusion among those who found it as to what the purpose of it was. I mean, wasn't it just supposed to be a maze? Well, usually it would have been. But the construction of the palisades were not typical in terms of dimensions and placements, making some believe that this could have been a special ritual place, where the context and purposes of the rituals themselves were kept very much a secret. The truth of the labyrinth still remains a mystery, and there are no other structures like this found within the confines of Stevens as of yet, though the excavation into the area is still ongoing. Number 4. Labyrinth of the Blue Virgin Another mysterious labyrinth that was found was located just off the coast of Sweden on Blåjungfrån. The island itself is now uninhabited, but can be found within the Kalamar Strait. On this island is the Trella Bordi Labyrinth, a labyrinth that is very mysterious and has a deep history with the island that no one can fully explain. No one is really sure when exactly the Trella Bordi Labyrinth was created, or who created it. There is clear evidence that this labyrinth was already built in the 18th century, and things such as ritual markings found in the nearby Blue Virgin Caves state that it may have been there a lot longer than that. It's believed that it dates back to the Mesolithic Stone Age. What makes this labyrinth so mysterious in the eyes of many, though, is that it's on the island of Bloyungfrun which has a deep history of being a place where supernatural events happen, to the extent that while you can be on the island to visit, you can't be there after dark, and you're advised not to detour off the paths that are already there. If the island is built on that kind of reputation, so too must the labyrinth, though many note that places in Scandinavia have similar labyrinths, and they're used for fishing or for trying to create good luck and fertility. The mystery continues, but this place would be cool to visit, wouldn't you think? Number 3. Chart. France has many sacred sites attached to it, but few of them are more sacred than that of Chart. This mystical site has been around for over 2,500 years, and with time came new expansions and additions meant to add more rituals and enlightenment to those who came. This included a labyrinth that was made in 1205 in the cathedral. The labyrinth itself was put into Chart Cathedral and no one knows exactly why it was put there. There are many speculations and beliefs based on the design of it though. Mainly, it was an 11 circuit maze one that would have you going into all four quadrants of the maze before reaching the center of it. This pavement maze is believed to have been walked upon by monks and those seeking enlightenment. At one time, there was a rosette waiting for them, indicating that they had reached enlightenment. It's also said that if the person was seeking repentance, that they would walk the whole maze on their knees. The labyrinth still remains in the cathedral, and it's been restored many, many times over the years. Number 2. Eye Toy and the Labyrinth The meaning of labyrinths can be interpreted many different ways across many different peoples, such as with the Tohono, O'odham, and Pima Native American tribes, who believed that there was once a creator god named Eye Toy. This god was very much a trickster, and one of the most popular paintings and references to him is in the Man in the Maze motif that is used within the culture. The meaning of this picture is multifold including a story saying that the maze that the god was just above was directions to his house. However, the most popular explanation for this curious design is that this is a symbol for life itself. The man at the top is about to take on his life, and as he enters the maze, he has many different options as to where he can go. Not unlike the many twists and turns that a human being has in their life when making choices. The power of choice and how those choices affect our lives is the grand goal here, including reaching the center of the maze, which in this case represents both life and death. And just before reaching the goal, looking back to see all the choices that we have made in the process. 
Number 1. Jericho Labyrinth In the Christian Bible, after wandering the desert for 40 years, the Jewish people were told that they would be led into the Promised Land. But in their way was the walled city of Jericho, which they took down through faith and following God. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after the people had marched around them for seven days. However, a theory about the city of Jericho persists to this day, and that the city wasn't just constructed to be a city, but also a labyrinth. Where this formally started as a theory or belief is unclear. However, many medieval documents reference the city of Jericho as a labyrinth, even showing pictures of it. The Monastery of Abruzzi, Italy has the earliest documents talking about this, and it was dated to 822 AD. But what's odd is that sometimes the city is shown to be a square labyrinth, while other times it's shown to be a circle labyrinth. Despite the lack of evidence stating that the city was a labyrinth, the idea of the city being that does continue. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these unique labyrinths? Which one of these mysteries do you think holds the biggest secrets to be discovered? Do you think that there are other labyrinths waiting out there to be discovered? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on World List.